Ibas a ver esta mañana. Ahora sí. Es tonto. Ibas a ver esta mañana. Ibas a ver esta mañana. वो तो टैब लो वन द फर्स्ट वन बर नहीं लग अगर मार्ट बोलते हैं ना टैब लो द फर्स्ट अधि डीडीपी डेटा सेट एक्सप्लेन हो गया फर्स्ट अधि ये नहीं बताना सिस्टम मली फर्स्ट इंटरनेट कनेक्ट है आग इधर गुरु इंटरनेट कनेक्ट है ज़ूम में बोपन आ गया ज़ूम काफी मर्ड ज़ूम वाल मार्ट सही � सूर्य में क्या इंटरनेट बेका हाँ तो तो इंटरनेट बेका ऑब्वियसली ये तो इंस्टॉल आगे रहते हैं इंस्टॉल आगे तो तो ना ना नो मीटिंग लॉन्च पार्ट से नहीं फॉर अदर वो ये लोग इसके लिए ये तो इंट्रोडक्शन तो जीडी पी रूपर बनता है हाँ इंट्रोडक्शन तो जीडी सर ये लेने दे वेलकम पेज बंद्रा बंद्रा So now we shall see tenth query that is analysis of GDP data set. So for that we shall see now first how your GDP data set looks like, and uh, we shall analyze the GDP data set in Excel form itself. So this is your GDP data set which contains country, almost two twenty eight countries of GDP is there available in your data set, which starts from the year two thousand. And ends in the year 2027, along with that latitude and longitude for each country. So there is nothing to analyze in this data set. We have our country along with the GDP for that particular years with the latitude and longitude. So, as we know, GDP is nothing but a gross domestic product, which is a measure of values of all the goods and services. Produced within a country over a period of time. Okay, based on that, that is based on the GDP value, we can get an insight of uh, economic status of a particular country for a particular time. Okay, 
you might be wondering how we got uh, we are still in 2024 how we got the gdp for 25 26 and 27 that is 2027 based on the previous years uh, gdp uh, we have used a prediction from the ai and we have predicted the gdp for next 3 years okay this is all about your gdp data set now we shall see how to do it in how to analyze this gdp data set in tableau first now i have opened tableau you know how to import the data my file is in microsoft excel so click on this microsoft excel select gdp data set open and select this first table drag and drop or double click you will get to see the preview of your table see go to sheet 1 after this see here you are instead of column names you are getting the years okay which is there in the number okay number format so it will be difficult for me to uh apply any filters or uh, anything like that uh for my query so what i'll do is see here your gdp and uh, years are spreaded across rows okay what i'll do i'll select this 2000 column and scroll till 2027 press and hold shift key and click on 2027 column so that all the columns from 2000 till 2027 will be selected after this right click here you find an option called pivot click on this pivot so that your year and gdp is transposed that is nothing but you have converted the rows of data into columns okay and this is rename it as year and pivot field values as gdp so that you get all the years in year column and gdp of those corresponding gdp value in gdp column now you can see the difference after making the pivot and uh, now we shall go for first query first query says visualize the country's data given in the data set with respect to latitude and longitude along with country name using symbol maps so in tab view if your data set contains any geographical field for example how do you come to know whether the uh, field is geographical uh, data uh, contains the uh, geographical data that means if you if your uh, column or field is associated with this globe symbol that means this uh, represents the type of data that particular column contains so if you have this globe symbol associated with a particular column that means that is a geographical field so if your data set contains any geographical data what uh, tableau does is automatically latitude and longitude will be generated so please don't use this generated latitude and longitude for this gdp data uh, for the queries of this gdp data set analysis since we have our own latitude and longitude though we don't have uh, uh, latitude and longitude for some of the countries it's of Uh, no no need to worry because it is not going to affect our queries so please use the one which we have in our data set rather than the generated latitude and longitude so first uh, query says we need to visualize the country's data that is gdp gdp of all the countries with respect to latitude and longitude by using symbol maps so for that just drag latitude into columns and longitude into rows you may see here latitude and longitude it is aggregating into average i don't want that to aggregate it so what i'll do i'll click on this drop down i'll make it as dimension so that it will consider that uh, column as dimension rather than measure okay this is your first step after this select country and go to show me pan and here see this is your symbol map 
select this symbol map. You'll get a map like this. If you want to have a filled map, what you have to do is in the marks shelf, automatic is will be selected by default. Here, click on this drop down and select map so that you'll get a filled map. And if you want to see each country in different color, put country into color. After this, they have specified you have to display the country name on your visual, that is map. So just drag and drop country into label as well as GDP into label so that you'll get the GDP along with the country name in the map. See here, sum of GDP will be selected by default. In all the visualizations, whichever measure you select and put it into label or anywhere, it will uh, aggregate your that uh, measure into sum. However you want to have it, you can change here. Click on drop down and measure option is there. Here you can have these many aggregate functions. I'll select average. Okay. Since we are visualizing the GDP of for all the country, uh, for all the countries, for all the years from 2000 till 2027, instead of having sum of GDP, if we have average of GDP, it will be more sensible. So we'll make this GDP into average. So this completes your first query in tab. And uh, here, don't forget to rename, I mean, give a title. If you remember in Power BI, by default, it will give, if the title option is uh, toggled on, based on the data, uh, you selected for that particular visual, the title is being given by the Power BI. Or BI itself. So, but in Tableau, you have to give it explicitly. So, and I'll I'll align this, make it look bigger. And if you want to change the color, you can change here and click on apply and open. And give a shade sheet name here. 